my name is Martin Richards and today we are at Goodwood Speed Week. Woo! Yay! I'm Martin Richards, I'm the driver of the Driftworks R32, 2019 King of Riga, and I'm back. Instincts going no looking bad like a bat with an eye patch. All black through the woods with a backpack and a lit match. Spark one time, get the whole city looking like a dark city. The orange wanna burn it down. But it is what it do, hopefully get live on the talk of the town. The city had a bad like daylight in the night and the killing so many get thoroughly wanna get involved and everybody falling in the bat like a bat with an eye patch. All black through the woods. So yeah, I'm really excited to be here. We've been invited um, to actually do some drifting demonstrations here. It's it's a, a thing called Drift Kana. Um, obviously with all the COVID restrictions, um, Festival of Speed got cancelled and this is their kind of replacement to enable something to happen in the old uh, Goodwood brand uh, this year. It's a closed event, there's no crowd, uh, but we're here to basically put on a show and it's gonna be shown on TV and across the world. So really looking forward to it and let's go. Driftkana course. This is the star line. We've got this one. That sounds awesome. So we'll be starting down here, accelerating all the way down to that. Yeah, so after completing one lap of the barrier down there, we'll be coming through this gateway. It's pretty narrow and we've got to probably straighten up and not drift. But straight for here, fire it down those bales and into the next area there. Quite bumpy. Um, they actually laid a bit of tarmac here fresh for us because it was such a dip, it would have definitely grounded out the R32. And then we're coming into here as fast as possible. We're going to do a fast transition all the way to the wall over there where they have some proximity sensors that we have to get as close to as possible. Once we complete one wall run, we have to then come round into these barrels. There's some more proximity sensors there and we have to set all the lights off before we can go out that way. So we're told we have to come through into here, do a donut. I might attempt a 360 if I can get enough speed. Woo! And then straight up into the next area, which is another roundabout section. Hopefully coming into this section with a bit of speed and again we've got another set of barrels this time with eight sensors on we have to get really close to. So once we've completed a lap of that and set off all the lines, fire off through there to the finish line and we're done. It's quite short. Yeah. Short but sweet. I think will be about at 12.40. Have you made any changes to the car ready for this event? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, I don't see the point in changing anything. Uh, yeah, it's a competition, but it's, we don't know anything that we're doing, so like the grip level. I might change something for the next round, the, the, the next run, but uh, at this moment, I'm just gonna drive how it is and that's it. It's crazy that you're here, this is here, and then there's some Lamar. It absolutely blows my mind, and I, I drove on track with these guys the other day. Um, but yeah, it's been lined up, the humble old R32 from Driftworks, lined up with some absolutely legendary uh, Le Mans cars from the 80s and 90s. Look at them. Lined up with some pretty cool cars at a pretty cool venue in a pretty crazy year. Excited is an understatement. Good. Now, brief history 
on this car. This is, in fact, the oldest competing drift chassis in Europe as at the moment. Martin Richards, the former King of Riga, in 2019, comes off the line. We can see an onboard now of exactly what is going on inside the car. Martin Richards really working it. Oh, he throws in a 360. Martin Richards going for the complete show score then as he gets himself back into it. And the car and the cabin now beginning to fill with smoke as Martin Richards absolutely flying very close the front bumper to that chicane on the handbrake once again through the gate. You can see how narrow that gate is. We're barely wide enough to get the car through as Martin Richards also goes now into the proximity sector. You can see a light in those as he gets it absolutely pinpoint perfect as Martin Richards Oh, and he's removed the rear bumper. Looks like Martin Richards shedding body panels off the back of this Nissan at Skyline. And Richards disposing of the rear bumper as he comes round now down into the donut at the entrance. And now, can Richards beat James Dean as he fires into the final proximity sector? You can see 12 seconds already allotted on his time. Gets nice and close, gets the front one, but absolutely dialed. You can see him on a bit. Oh, and he takes him out. Oh, Martin Richards now starts to make a mess of the circuit as he looks for the exit. Only one he didn't get there. And Martin Richards finishes it off in spectacular style. And there we go. Martin Richards <laughs> rejoins the grid at the back and our marshal. I think I shredded a lot of stuff. Yeah, you're shredding it on the TV at the moment. <laughs> oh, the bumper's hanging off there. <laughs> so, yeah, made a few mistakes on that one, but man, it was wild and so much fun. I loved it. <laughs> Good fun. Yeah. So different from drifting. Huh? It's so different from drifting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's actually quite bumpy. I felt the car bottom out a couple of times then. And, uh, yeah, not very grippy. <laughs> I just want to congratulate you. You sabotaged everyone else. Yeah. They forgot to put one of the barrels back in. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, oh, so that's what I've got to That's my, that's my, uh, my secret weapon there. <laughs> Mister, there's no way you can do a 360 on this track straight away, that's 360. Yeah. Sandbag. Show off. Show off, isn't it? Yeah, oh dear. What do the marshals, the stewards say? Uh, so basically, yeah, we got a slight telling off stroke, don't do it again, uh, for drifting over the, after the finish line and up the pit straight, basically. Because uh, it's the first time Motorsport UK have sanctioned drifting here on the uh, Goodwood site. Um, We've got to be good boys, basically. So, basically said anything between the start and the finish line is all yours, crack on, crash into whatever you want to crash into. Um, but yeah, once you go over the finish line, we can't do nice peel outs to the, uh, over the finish, over the, the pit, you know. Good words. Yeah. So, yeah, not much, not really a bollocking, but just uh, a persuasion. So what are you going to do before the next run? Change tyres? Put some different tyres on. I think we're going to stick some Bellinos on for the next one. It'll be nice to have a little bit more grip. And go and do exactly the same again, but just not hit a load of barrels. Or, yes. yes. And hopefully the bumper stays on. I hope so. Run two, about to go down. On proper tyres. Uh, put a little bit of grip, yeah, and uh, try and set a fastish time. Not too stylish. Well. Keep the rear bumper. Okay, I'll try.
like the kind of competitive run there really, like the first one was style uh, and now I just wanted to try and set a time to see what I could do really, Yeah. Um, keep it tidy, didn't wreck anything, my foot slipped off the accelerator pedal in the small donut area and I thought I was going to stall, but luckily it didn't, um, but man I can feel the total difference in grip of just the size of the tyre change, yeah. it's pretty good. So yeah, had fun. I think did I end up second or yeah, second. Yeah. second behind the machine? Yep, of always, course. Always behind the machine. Don't know. You beat him yesterday in a simulator. Have fun. Yeah, that wasn't a real fight. <laughs> but the main thing, I had fun and nothing broke. So, so I don't think you ever if you ever it. come to our house in Worcestershire, where are you from? Oh my God, where? Seriously, I, I live in Perthshire at the moment. To the week. Really. <laughs> Oh my god! Julian! Julian! Where do you live? Morning! Morning! Last day then? Yep, last day, one more run on the circuit, I suppose, track. Jim uh, Carno. Jim Carno, Drift Carno. Yeah. What's the plan? Drive. Not changing anything, same as yesterday. Same as everything. I think I'm gonna go for a time, so no real dicking about, no 360. That might change as soon as I exit the pit lane. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just uh, yeah. See how it goes really. I don't know who's runs go first, so I can't really decide on a plan of action. I'll see how it feels and uh, go from there. make sure I got all the sensors and try and get the quickest time and it was uh, lots of fun really enjoyed it so thank you very much Speed Week for having me uh, it's been a delightful time in these really weird times uh, but brought a bit of fun to this year definitely some massive life highlights drifting on the track with Formula One cars um, generally being around such awesome machinery that you don't get to see every day and skidding and representing drifting hopefully in the best light possible. Cool, so that's Speed Week 2020 done. Uh, I've had an awesome time and yeah it's time to get this thing back to the workshop and we've got some maybe an exciting project ahead. We're going to make some changes for the 2021 season uh, so stay tuned um, that's going to be on this channel. Uh, check out mine and Tess's YouTube channel for some limited videos every now and again mm -hmm. <laughs> and like subscribe buy some merch from Driftworks and I'll see you all soon at Driftworks we've helped over 50,000 happy customers since 2004 our huge online parts store is simple to use with superb shipping rates to anywhere in the world and finance options available for UK customers. We live and breathe wheel fitment, so if you have any questions about your own car or any of our products before placing an order, please drop us an email at shop at driftworks.com or give us a call. Thanks for watching.